Hello, this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Since last time, I went through the Black Omen a couple more times in the previous time periods, so let's take a look at my setup now. We're back inside Lavos. You can equip whatever weapon you want on Magus, but if you don't have a third Haste Helm, I'd give him a Gloom Helm for status protection. You absolutely want status protection. But if you do have the Haste Helm, then you need the Nova Armor for that, and Prism Specs to boost damage, you got the turbo shot on Luca, but if you're playing the Super Nintendo version, you can equip the Wonder Blast. Doesn't really matter, but it's a good for speed boost. Haste Helm, definitely on her. I got another Prismatic Dress, but if you don't have that in the Super Nintendo version or whatever, or the turbo shot, you can use the Tabin Suit instead for speed. And Skala's Amulet, again, for status protection. If you don't have the Dragon Arm for Robo there, you can equip the Terraton Arm or the Crisis Arm, whatever you want. I'm banning the Crisis Arm, though. And again, the same thing as Magus there. Haste Helm, Nova Armor for status protection, sunglasses for boosting damage. So let's take him on! Give him, uh, well, whatever the medical term is for heart surgery. Gonna cut your heart out. Shoot the core. Uh, for this battle, also, it's rather important to have Robo in the third position of your party. Why this thing is inside him, I don't know. Uh oh. Lavos give milk. Have my baby. I, I mean, uh, no. No, he's just, uh, shooting lasers with his nipples, I guess. Okay. But anyway, what I want to do here is I want to get Barrier on Robo there. Heal up there. I want to get Protect on Luca and Magus there. Because Robo has pretty bad magic defense. And Luca and Magus, not so good on the physical defense there. So that'll really help us out a lot in this battle so we don't have to heal as much. Once you've got the healing going, or the buffs all set and ready to go, then you want to use any AoEs you got. Dark Matter, Flare, Electrocute, those are all really good. And one thing that's interesting is that the right arm, or, well, from our perspective, the one on the left there, has a lot less HP than his left arm, or the one on the right there. So you'll see here, boom, we kill the left arm, but the right arm's still going. So in order to finish that off, I recommend using Double Bomb. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah, it's really good to have Robo in the third position so you can do that. So yeah, what happens is, if you notice when we were using our AoEs on him, uh, the center part of Lavos wasn't taking a lot of damage. But once you kill the two arms and the center part uh, attacks you, then its defense is down. They don't announce this, but I think that's how it works. And then you can just go all out. And I'm just going to use my strongest attacks right now. I'll eventually use Omega Elixir, but uh, well, not right now. We're doing fine here. Let's get another round in on those. Usually two rounds is pretty good, and then you'll pretty much almost have it. And after that, then I will use Omega Elixir. Omega's looks kind of weird with the protect status, how he's, like, shielding himself with his cape or something, I don't know. You think that's really gonna stop anyone, Magus? Well, maybe it's a magic cape, I don't know. Zelda's magic cape? No. No, just an ordinary magic cape. One thing that Lavos can do here is he can eliminate your status protection with one of his attacks. Even if you have like Nova Armor or Scala's Amulet or the Gloom Helm, yeah, he can disable that actually. And then he can hit you like with a Chaos status or something else like that. So yeah, after getting in two rounds of AoEs on the center, you use Mega Elixir so that way you're healed up, so that way you'll be ready for this guy. Kind of looks like a Vidian now that I think about it. Hmm.
so they absorb all that DNA to make more baby Lavoses that are exactly the same as the previous one? Is it over 9,000? Do your sensors go that high? I don't think so. I think your sensors are broken. I think you, you have the scouter upside down there, Robo. I'm gonna try again. Well, technically, ending his life right here wouldn't help. You need to end him for all time, Magus. For final boss time! Sorry, I didn't say that for the first phase. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so, the thing with this battle is, first thing, well, obviously you want to get your buffs going, especially the barrier. That's so critical, because Robo has really bad magic defense. The other two, yeah, protect is nice, but... They're not going to die without it. Well, they might. Probably not. So what you want to do here is you want to take out that left pod first. So that way he can't heal uh, the center core, or the center part. Although the actual part that you want to kill is the right pod there. That's actually the real Lavos core. The, you would think it's the center part, but it's not. They're just screwing with you. So anyway, what you want to do, take out the left pod there with physical attacks, because he absorbs all elements. And then, once you do that, eventually the real Lavos core on the right there will lower its defense. And to, in or, so that it can resurrect the other pod there, which it will do eventually. So once its defense is lowered, that includes its magic defense, of course. Uh, then, go all out with your AoE, so that way you can hit both the center part and the real Lavos core there. So that way you can take them both out, and then you won't have any offense left. Now, eventually, if you let the fight go on long enough, you the, the Lavos core will revive the other two bits at full HP. But if that does happen, I would recommend just keep going all out with your AoEs because it won't it doesn't raise its defense again for a little while. It, once it resurrects them, it's going to take a couple rounds for it to re realize, "Oh, hey, I need to uh, raise my defense again." So you want to keep that in mind. And you might be able to finish it off before it can raise its defense again. Yeah, I used a heal beam there, but you don't have to, but... Well, I thought it was a good idea, just in case I'm too slow here. I don't think I'll be, but you never know. But yeah, once you just got the Lavos core itself there, then you want to start using double bombs. You'll deal more damage with that than either of your single techs put together. Let's use a Mega Elixir, so that way I can keep on going with that. All right, got him. Well, that was easy. One thing I think that happens, if I recall correctly, if Lavos disabled your status protection in the previous battle, then he will... Uh, I think that carries over to this battle, if I recall correctly. And I think Lavos does have an attack that can inflict a bunch of status ailments on you. If I remember correctly. I don't know, because I, I usually just kill him so quickly it doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, so what happened now? Yeah, they seem to speed up that animation at after you kill Lavos there, where it just flashes in and out. Like that. Uh, what? What's going on? Uh, can you just take the clone? Yeah, I got another clone for Chrono there off screen. I got everyone's clones. Maybe I'll show them off in a bonus episode. But anyway... You owe 50,000 gold in back taxes, Chrono. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, well, 
that is true. Yeah, I mean, we did save your life. After all, can't you... Huh? How'd you know about that? Yeah, we're saving the future by making... Baby Chronos. Or Baby Gokus. More Super Saiyans. What are all these guys doing here? Oh, just so you know, there's nothing happen on, happening on the bottom screen of the DS during the ending, so I just figured I'd cut that out and make it a little more cinematic here. Yeah, that's a good question. You're screwing up the timeline. No, no, they just walked into one of my portals accidentally. All of them. All of them? How would you even know that? I mean, okay, King Guardia, I can understand, but I mean, Kino, it's like 65 million years ago. We celebrate you tonight because you didn't do anything. Well, okay, I... Chrono ki helped kill the head of Lavos, but that was about it. Couldn't you just leave Lavos like that at that point? I mean, he'll eventually bleed to death. I mean, I would think keeping a head on you is kind of important. You know, living organism doesn't do very well with holes in it, usually. I don't know, maybe that's just me? I don't want to have any holes in my body. Well, I mean, besides what I use to breathe and eat and do other things with. I wonder what happens if you don't do certain side quests for the ending. Because some things change here. Like you see Lara there and the middle of the uh, the square. What'd you have to block off the side for? I want to play some games. Mini games. Okay, well, let's talk to everyone here. Yeah, I would imagine she doesn't say that if you didn't do the side quest for her. I would guess she's sitting down, but I don't know. It's been so long since I've seen this ending without doing the uh, side quest there. The Fiona side quest. Hey, how's it going, Mom? Yeah, you lazy bum. Ah, oh, well, can't you look after the kitties? I mean, what do you need to look after them for? They're very independent. Just make sure they get fed. I'll buy the cat food, you keep an eye on them while I'm going out and saving the world. Is that okay, Mom? Yeah, of course not. What's the worst that could possibly happen? <laughs> yeah, let's dismantle the entire Guardia army. That'd be a brilliant idea for the sequel. No, nah, no. Nah. Although that would explain why certain things happen in Guardia afterwards. Huh. I never thought about that. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't they, like, disappear forever? Eh, I wouldn't worry about it. It's probably not important. And we'll never see Lavos again. They don't have that concept back then. They just kill animals and eat them. Ayla, give good milk. Kino, give you many babies. I mean, uh, yeah, we'll uh, just get out of here. We'll get a room. Thanks. And don't don't worry about the monsters in Truce Canyon. Uh, we'll be fine. Well, I suppose you got Frog with you, so... Okay, that does make sense. And we'll never see you again. Aww. <laughs> so 
yeah, if you don't have Magus here in your party, if you kill them off, well, he... Well, he doesn't show up. Of course, he doesn't say anything anyway, since he is here, but whatever. Well, thanks a lot, Luca. We're going to go back to our future that's probably not there anymore. And even if it is, it's prob we're probably going to stay in this timeline. Yeah, I want to go back to that destitute landscape. It sounds like a brilliant idea. Oh, yeah. I like uh, Robo's cameo in Chrono Cross as uh, Prometheus. It's a nice touch there. Oh. What are you doing to him? Don't be ridiculous, Luca. Robo will be okay. Ridiculous! No. No, that's another game, viewers. My next LP. We'll get to that one soon enough. Ha <laughs> ha. Wouldn't that be a good idea to get that checked out, Robo? I mean, why would you have oil in your eyes? I would think that would be more around your joints or something or other like that. Yeah, I ought to do the ending without, uh, without doing all the side quests. Like, get Chrono back. I think I got a save state there. And, yeah. See, uh, yeah, because, like, this was also part of the Fiona side quest and everything. Yeah, time to break it up. Huh? What, what, where'd all these kitties come from? Naughty. Naughty kitties. We need a cat herder. Ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite get 11 cats in this LP, but I figured, well, okay, 7 or 8, that's enough. However many there were. I was having a hard time getting more cats, and eventually I was just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, if, uh, there's no way you can prevent the cats from running away, if whether you feed them or not. The only thing you could do is if you used the Epoch to go back to 1999 AD and then use that, you can actually bypass the boss gauntlet of Lavos outside. You'll just take the Epoch and burst right through him, and then you'll fight the inside as normal, and since you don't have the Epoch, the cats never run away because, well, you'd never be able to get your mom back. So they just bypass that entirely. That's really the only way you could keep the cats from running away. But yeah, feeding them makes no difference. Oh, pretty bell. But I, I, I want to have my kitties back. Well, what's wrong? You're, you're strong. Hi, Dad! Kind of reminds me of the uh, DeLorean. Hey! Yeah, I wonder what happens here if you don't have the Sunstone. I don't know, it's been a while since I've done that, so. Eh, whatever. Maybe we get fireworks and let's watch the credits roll. I like how they handle the. Uh, ending sequence here. Go into uh, mode 7 zoom. Yeah, that uh, flying time machine outside? Uh, yeah, don't worry about it. So let's look back on our adventure. Overall, for the graphics, I'd easily give them a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's... I mean, even even just on the Super Nintendo or even the DS, it's really good. I mean, they don't have, you know, the 3D or anything like that. But, hey, I will take good 3D over polygons and triangle 3D any day. And also, I love how they cleaned up 
the anime cutscenes, like on the PlayStation version, obviously they had to do a lot of compression back then, but with the BS, the cartridges are bigger than a CD, practically. So, I mean, they could uncompress them, make it look a lot sharper and everything, so I really like how they did everything with that. Now, obviously, all the attack animations and everything. Aww. Robo got his girlfriend back. Where are you guys going? Just checking up on things? Yeah, ignore the flying saucer going around here. I wonder if he'll ever find Scala. Eh, it's probably not important. I wouldn't worry about that. Yeah, for the music, I'd also easily give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, I love, well, so many of the themes. Boss scenes. Uh, I, I kind of glossed over the World Revolution theme, which I also really like. The special boss theme and everything. Uh, quarters of time, of course. Not to mention, I mean, you don't, you don't just have I, the... I forget the guy's name who did the composing for this one, the original one. And then he had a Matsu come in to help him out too. So yeah, two great composers on this one. It's an Earth balloon. No, no, just kidding. It, they're just they're just zooming out, there, viewers. Yeah, for the uh, plot, I'd also give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, yeah, one of the things I really love about the game is how they handled the character development, the side quests, the villain involvement. Everything was just so crisp and well done. It was They gave a lot of background to the characters, especially during the side quests and everything like that. Everyone had a little bit of showtime. Maybe a little less on Ayla. I kind of wish they did a little more with her, but still, I mean, we had, you know, quite a few dungeons with Ayla in her own time period and everything. Everyone was pretty relevant to the story beyond even just the main three. Everyone can be useful at one point in time or another, so it's not like they they made one character immensely worse than the others. I mean, yeah, some characters are better than others, but they're not... There's not that huge separation between them. So I really like how they handled that. And even though they used the giant alien monster for the antagonist of the game, I love how they supported him with great humanoid villains along the way. That's just so important. You can't just have a giant alien monster and just leave it at that and expect us to hate him. But anyway, in the DS version, as well as the PlayStation version, we get another anime cutscene. Yeah, much sharper than it was in the original PlayStation version. I mean, it's not HD, don't get me wrong, but... And I also like how they changed it to 16.9 format instead of the 4.3 of the original. Yeah, just keep holding my hand, don't bother looking where you're going at all, Marley. How are these guys, like, clean-shaven and everything? They don't have razor blades back then. Well, I suppose they could make swords and robot arms, so... Why not? Yay! Ooh, epic theme time! Apparently, I guess Frog is human again, or Magus released his spell. I mean, couldn't he just do that? I mean, why not? I mean, why leave him as Frog? It would have been awesome if they did that in the main storyline, instead of waiting for the very end. Though I suppose this ending is based on not recruiting Magus. But, whatever. Never get a real good look at his face, though. Oh, wow. There is a uh, alternate ending that you can see Frog as human. King Kai, is that you? No. No. I think that's Melchior. Got some booze for you!
What was I saying before? Something about frog? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a whole bunch of ending, other endings that you can get if you do a new game plus and start the game over and defeat Lavos like way earlier in the game or certain points in the game. I'm not going to go over all of them again because I already did that in the original LP, so I don't think, and I don't think they're really that interesting. So, but there is one ending where you can get if you. Uh... Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a little kid. Well, now you don't need Chrono anymore to be your boy toy, Luca. And we got more credits now, I guess, for the DS version or something. I don't know. However they do it. But yeah, um... What was it? With, uh... Oh, yeah, with that ending. I think the one where you see Frog as human is... I think it's the one where you... You don't get Chrono resurrected, but you beat Lavos after he dies anyway. I think that's the one... Oh, yeah, and you kill Magus. And then I think you get to see Frog uh, in his humanoid form. I think. It's been a while since I did that one, so... But anyway, let's continue the review. Uh, for the battle mechanics, I'd also give it a 10 out of 10. I mean, every character is useful. There's so many different options that you got, even though you only have eight techs. You got the dual techs and, that are really useful. I wish they made the triple techs more useful, but oh well. I mean, usually with triple techs, it's better just to... Uh, just to use your single techs or dual techs, and you'll deal more total damage, so... But even so, there's some of them are useful at times. And, I mean, you got uh, a lot of useful buffs, all the equipment that you got. It's not just, you know, for raw defense values. You gotta look out for elemental strengths and absorptions and things like that, or auto-buffing uh, accessories or headgear or whatnot. So yeah, they really do a lot more interesting stuff. I mean, the stat boosts, another thing that you could do. So yeah, I really like how they handle that. There's just so many useful uh, pieces of equipment and uh, spells or techs, things like that. So I mean, the only thing that I wish they did a little better is made more debuffs useful. I mean, I did use like Boogie and Hypnowave and Allure once. But, I just wish they were more useful. But in order for that to really work, you'd probably need to have more enemies per random battle. Like, uh, so that way your crowd control would actually be more useful. But, you know, they don't really do that too much, so... Oh well. But even so, I mean, the battle, it's a very smooth experience with the battles and everything. You don't have to level grind or anything like that. So, it's just a, a really smooth experience. So overall, obviously, I'd give Chrono Trigger a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's one of my favorite JRPGs of all time. Well, one of my favorite games of all time from my childhood. And, well, I hope you've enjoyed this LP as much as I've had making it. But, well, it's not over yet, viewers. Yeah, we've still got quite a few bonus episodes that I've got in mind. Not including the uh, New Game Plus endings. I'm not going to do that. Well, there's one ending I'll show off, but... You know the one, viewers. The new one for the DS version of the game. So I'll be going over that when we get to it. I like how they have some nice little artwork during the ending. Nice little touch there. But... Huh? What the? This wasn't in the Super Nintendo version of the game. Well, yeah, new to the DS version of the game, we got these vort vortices. I think that's the plural for it. Yeah, we got a lot of new stuff that we can do here now. So yeah, the Dimensional Vortex, new dungeon for the DS version of the game. So this LP will go on. But yeah, you save your completion data, and then you can reload your file from, like, maybe when you defeated Lavos or whatever. And, well, now you can access the Dimensional Vortex. What awaits us inside? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger!
This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day, and see you in the bonus episodes.